Well, hello there, Libra. It looks like the universe needs you and every wonderful thing about you. And it also needs to give you a most deserved gift. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Libra tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you're interested in the extended or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> the This Tiger Angel, number four, means the world needs you. It needs everything about you. Your kindness, your understanding, your gifts, all of those things. The Velvet Queen means the universe has a gift to give you. Perhaps it's in exchange for what it need for what the world needs from you. Hopefully there is a get balanced give and take there. Um for someone there's a clear Elevation of status that's going to happen here. This one? Okay. A clear elevation of status. Um, okay. Someone who either just barely started or hasn't yet gotten to have their own animals, pets. Okay. Um, that's going to happen soon and that's going to go well. Interesting. Well, congratulations. Right? Okay. Show me what's going on with Libra, please. So the world needs Libra, and the world wants to give, and the universe wants to give Libra a gift, a most deserved gift, which means you already did the work. So, sigh of relief there, right? Okay, show me what's going on with Libra, please. Show me what's going on with Libra, please. Oh, so as your path changes and transforms, it's like... um. The universe is going to kind of whisper in your ear, you know, the next steps, not exactly giving you the whole script to your life, but you're going to feel really grounded and secure in the steps that you take going forward that are going to lead to a very happy path. All right, let's go then. Let's go. Scorpio energy there with the king of cups, page of coins, two of wands. Six of Wands, Lovers, that's card of Gemini, Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, okay, reading this is you, this is them, this is the situation, got it, got it, okay. There's something that you are rewarded, perhaps it's this gift, there's something that you were rewarded that actually brings you the Ten of Cups. Long-term happiness, usually with another person. Okay. This person sees love connection with you, but competition to get you. There could be someone with strong Scorpio involved, but this, this looks like, it's almost like the heart is up for grabs, or at least it looks that way to either both of you or one of you. It's also a very emotionally mature connection, which I know is probably a sigh of relief for most people. <laughs> okay. Most deserved gift. Show me the details of the King of Cups, please. Pull these down just a little bit. I'm still getting used to temporary table setup. Looks like it'll fit. Yep. Okay. Libra energy, justice right there, 
two of swords, queen of pentacles. Ow. <laughs> oh, someone's vision, like quite literally your connection with who, whatever feminine raised you, mom, grandma, whatever. Okay. Thank you. Um, it's almost like you going back and reviewing all of that and witnessing you want none of how they did life for yourself. Especially the trauma that is, you know, connected to previous feminine generations, right? The things our mothers and grandmothers and great grandmothers had to go through in order to survive in, in this world, right? Um, but it, it feels more like an overall paradigm. Like either I'm never getting doing traditional marriage, um, I'm never going to be stay at home, or I'm never going to be a career woman, or I'm never going to be. There's something there that is foundational. Okay. That perhaps you have evolved beyond as it pertains to you specifically and your unique path. Okay. Because it looks like lessons more than one, more than one time were learned here that just killed that possibility of you repeating anyone else's past as your future. That's the key. Okay. That's the key. Libra is no longer the same Libra. Okay. Show me what was learned here with the page of coins. See, and getting through those lessons successfully, probably not unscathed, increased your emotional maturity to prepare you for this connection. Oh, and you're like, holy shit, this is real. <laughs> Pisces energy there with the high priestess. That's funny. <laughs> Learning, oh shit, it's real. <laughs> it's like you knew something was going to pop up. But this, this is quite something. Taurus, Aquarius, Taurus, and Libra energy. Wow, it's a game changer. Okay, okay. Show me the six of wands, please. The six of wands. Knight of cups, two of coins. Eight of swords. Got it. It could, okay. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Um, don't let your pride, okay, or your ego get out of hand and overrule what your heart really wants. Should your mind first vet to make sure that the coast is clear for the heart to come in? Yes. But this is coming across as pride and ego. Okay. Like I told myself I'd never get in another relationship because the group that I date, they're trash. They're this, 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 and this. And I view it as an achievement to live how I've learned to live now. It's like, but the heart wants. The heart wants. So if the heart wants, you can at least allow the mind to check if the coast is clear. Okay. And report back. It's called reconnaissance. <laughs> Show me the Ten of Cups, please, for them. Ah, you could see it in your sights now. This Ten of Cups doesn't come into view at first, but once it does, it's like, oh, shit. I can have this kind of fairy tale thing. Aquarius energy again. Yeah. If if that if that is what you want, Beck. If it is what you want. Okay, let's get into them. Show me the two of wands, please, for them. Knight of Swords, Lovers, Emperor. Who? So they they're able to identify connection with you early. Gemini, Aries, energy long term. Ten of Pentacles. Dang. Dang.
if this is a professional environment, like if work, school, whatever, that the two of you meet, okay? Um, okay. Because they seem to have, it's almost like if you work in a different department, so the two of you kind of sort of cross path, not really, you just miss each other in the hallways, the commissary, lunchroom, and all that kind of thing. But the two of you are both there somewhere, different departments, different floors. Because it's he's showing me he's always looking and moving in another direction. And there's purpose behind it. So it could be work, career, hobby, whatever it is. Um, so it's not like he's actively avoiding. Because it's almost like once he turns around and the only thing that he can do is make eye contact with you and acknowledge that you exist this all hits okay because it, it it feels like when you show up he's busy and i don't mean busy work like legit busy he's doing other things he's not paying attention to anything else except the task right in front of him okay but when he turns around it's like it hits and you can't not see it Show me the lover's plate because he's got the lovers twice, or he's or he's got some serious Gemini in his chart. Okay, show me the lovers. Ooh, yep, makes him stop and go. Oof. Eight of Swords, wheel. Nine of Swords, two of Cups. That is so funny. <laughs> the highs and lows of holy shit, it's the lovers. Holy crap, what do I do? Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god, it's so scary. This is so great. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny show me the five of wands for him please the roller coaster of emotions age of swords eight of cups so there's something here where this person discovers you just came you well it seems to them you just came from a fight whatever your previous cycle was that that painfully closed that closed okay there is an understanding here where it's clear to this person that you need some sort of um rest or uh relaxing day to day in in your personal life okay um show me what the page of cups is going to do Oh, they fantasize about you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do they do about the seven ones? So they okay. That, that's that's a good approach. High priestess card of Pisces, strength card of Leo, five of swords, judgment. They're waiting for their opportune moment. And I and I would say that in my best Captain Jack Sparrow accent, um, but I don't have one. <laughs> They're waiting for they they understand you are single, content. Da, 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 da. They're waiting for their moment that is the right moment to strike. Okay, to take it beyond a page of cups. So, what does Libra think of this emperor? What does Libra think upon meeting this emperor? There's some low-key excitement there. Okay, cool. Oh, Sag energy there. Got it. Sun there on the bottom, Leo energy. So there's there's a little bit of like flirty excitement. There's a little bit of that. Okay. Um, but instead of letting that kind of rule your personality when you interact with this person, you switch to more of a student. Taking the time to learn, because you could feel union coming in. You could feel union coming in after all you've been through. Alrighty, everyone. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this emperor who has the capacity to be patient.
I'm going to see what's going on with them in their current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.